understanding if any object qtp is not able to map it to the standard class that is already have then if he knows that there is an object but he is not able to map it he recognizes that object as a win object so in windows standard windows ardin win object is a non standard object in web web element is a non standard object in java java object is a non standard object so like win you will have a prefix called java then it is java object like when you will have a web element web element is a web non standard object so anywhere i am not able to map it to the standard classes i will recognize that object as a non standard object so the disadvantage of the non standard object the property set that you see here might or might not have the properties that is actually required for that object if it is having it you don't have to worry about i can use that object as it is i don't have to change it if the properties doesn't have it then you may have to configure this non standard object so this is what non standard object is all about so qtp recognizes the object as a standard when the object class is matching to the pre defined standard classes of the add in then qtp recognizes that object as a standard object if the object class is not able to map it to the standard classes whatever is available in the add in then qtp recognizes that object as a non standard object so the dif difficulty of non standard object is the property set that you see here might not hold the actual property of that particular object if it is available then i don't have to change my object i can leave it as it is there are two types of properties that we generally worry about one is recognition properties second is identification or runtime object properties recognition properties are the properties used to recognize the object we we'll, we are going to come to that in the repository screen second runtime properties are the property values that we want to use it in our application under test maybe a dependable application that property value has to be used to some other object etc then it is called runtime object property in such situations we require the property to be identified so for that we need object to be recognized properly so this is the standard object and non standard object is this clear if you have any questions please let me know the next i am going to move on to is non recognized object when we call the object as a non recognized object right any questions please let me know fine now i'll move on to non recognized object i'll take a sample of mind sweeper i'll take a sample of say mind sweeper it's a game so i'll take this as a sample for our non standard object so there is a question so non recognized object is what i am trying to now tell you so how we understand that it is a non recognized object i will go to spy i am going to spy on that deal button you and me know that it is a button this deal is a button but i am trying to recognize that deal button by qtp spy window you can see now to the right he is able to recognize at the window level but he is not able to recognize at this deal button level are able to notice this so into each individual the below portion is also a button but none of the buttons you can see to the right it is not changing at all i select this button as i select the button you can see now only i have selecting that button now 
yeah now i have selected that button but you cannot see a button here it is only at the window level are you able to notice this raise your hand so even though i selected that button qtp is not able to recognize that button this is called non recognition object so here it is not able to recognize due to the reason that the object is created not using object oriented programming and this programming mode is called procedural programming i draw a line there saying that there is a box there that's all but i have not created that box with the standard objects so is this clear to you so i am trying to do it again i spy now on the mind sweeper so if i am able to recognize that mind sweeper with the window level but when i come to this button level i am not able to recognize that button you can see now i am not able to recognize the button i don't know whether you are able to see my hand or not so i am actually now placing my place my hand on to the deal button even though i place my hand on to the deal button but in the right hand side objects by window i am not able to recognize that object at all the reason for which is that window that particular object is not created using object oriented programming it is called procedural programming and such objects are called non recognized objects so methods to manage such objects qtp has an option called virtual objects so in view using virtual objects we can manage on that object we'll talk about virtual object in detail in our later class is this three parts clear to you one standard object two non standard object three non recognized object is this clear you and me cannot do anything on this non standard object it is the way the developer has coded that object right so in such situations the object is not recognized i'll take another example of a paint for a non standard object and also a non recognized object i'll take that example i'll use this paint i'm using this paint now i'm opening the paint window in paint window now just see now i'm going to spy now you see now i am spying this multi line edit box this is the multi line edit box as per qtp but it is recognized as a win object you can see now i am trying to see to the left hand side the controls tool controls the tool controls entire tool control is recognized as an object but it is a win object non standard object i am trying to recognize that individual icons that individual icons are not recognized at all that eraser i am trying to select that eraser but eraser is not recognized so within this parent win object window is recognized not an issue within window this individual tool bars are recognized not an issue that but it is a non standard object then edit box is also a non standard object the colors below is also a non standard object so there are three objects he recognizes one is this toolbar second is your editor window third is your color window but i am not able to select individual color i am now selecting that black color but black color is not recognized so within that each object i have made a procedural programming so that is why this color window is not recognizable so win object colors is recognized but it is not able to recognize whether it is a black color or a so that is not available because this native class afx wnd 42u is not part of your standard classes that is why this is recognized as a non standard object and within this non standard object there are some procedural programming used that is why we are not able to individual colors are not available for us to recognize so you can see a standard object window paint is a standard win object colors is a non standard within colors you have actual color 
and those colors are a procedural programming called non object oriented programming created objects it is not an object at all it is only a code so this is how the non standard object standard object and non recognized objects are managed in the qtp so with this now we just finished what that object spy can give you in object spy there are two other two more entities called identifications and native we talk about this as we are inside the session right now it may not be appropriate for me to take that because it will be confusing you for timing we'll go with identification properties